Hey, we're back. I did skip ahead about four in-game days because nothing exciting happened. I just kept repeating the same thing of farming, harvesting, feeding animals. But I think today we finally are able to get the wool, which means we get to continue on with helping Grandpa. Let's go find out. Look at that. Yay. Yeah, it takes about three in game days for the sheep to give us anything. in uh. mm. that is nice of you <gasps> ah, what a nice surprise first Benny and then you too I I don't know what to say the past weeks have been so exhausting you should give yourself some rest Levi's disappearance wasn't your fault mm. I know thanks for the encouragement you truly are a good person <laughs> Let's see about the wool. Hey, how's it going with your cute little sheep? Perfect, I have the wool. Awesome, thank you. Let me think. Everything's all right? Yeah, it's just a lot to do. Underwear for everyone, and I just wanted to make blankets too. Maybe I can help with some of those. Would you? That would be very nice indeed. Best you help with the blankets. Here, let me show you how. See, it's a lot to do, but as easy as a pie. Uh, okay, easy peasy. Wow. You're so confident! I'll work on the undergarments while you take care of the blankets. These don't need even more Got the blankets. Back we go. So technically, I think it's been, what? I don't know how many days. It's been a considerable amount of time. Ah. Hmm. Here are the blankets. Thank you, they look gorgeous. Ah. Ah, and here comes Benny. doing here? Hey, I just came to check on your progress. Uh, we're doing well. Lydia just finished the warm underwear. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you can try them on. Uh, uh, mm. What? Me? But... Here, take these and go in to change. But... <laughs> hush, hush. <sighs> And how are they? Really warm? And comfy? Hmm. Yes, yes, very, very comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I'm so happy to hear that. Wait here, I'll grab the rest, you can distribute them. <laughs> it's so itchy! Are you okay? Wool, I hate she's wool, it's so itchy! For wool, it has to be Angora only. Why didn't you tell Lydia? Aww. 
She works so hard. Here you go. And just hand them over to the others. I will. I'm sure they will love them too. I saw what you did. Lydia is much happier since you cheered her up. Thank you for that. She might need someone to talk to. A friend. Sorry, <laughs> Oh dear, I didn't mean you in particular. I just mean that it would be good for her. She's such a dear soul and takes care of the household and the twins. And all right, all right, I'll do my best to get to know her better. Yeah. No, I didn't mean that like that. It's not an order. I just, it is none of my business. Please excuse me. <laughs> all right, we get to go talk to Nathan, who's in the woods. Please don't make me grow, uh, do a... Uh, a bunny. I just... I don't want to. <laughs> Such a sense of urgency to get to Grandpa, and yet they're like, we need all these things. Okay. Hey. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Uh, <laughs> you're ready? Great. Let's wait for the others to arrive. All right, everyone up for the expedition is here and ready? Definitely, let's get this thing started. As ready as can be. Oh yeah, let's go. All prepared and ready. I feel like I'm in kindergarten. Can we finally go, please? Excellent, stay safe in there. No heroics, come back healthy. And have fun. Wow, it's so dark in here. <sighs> Ow, my foot! Uh -huh. Where are the lamps? Uh -huh. uh, was that a fish? Huh. Don't panic, here is some light. <gasps> what the? <gasps> You're back already, what happened? You're not going to believe this. What is it? There's an elevator in there. What? What? It looks functional, too. Where does it lead? Right up to the mountains, it seems. Hmm. So we did all of this for nothing? Hmm. Well, we learned quite a bit while doing it, right? <laughs> and we learned that checking the cave first would have helped. At least we are faster up on the mountains. She is right. We thought going through the cave would be the hard part. We were lucky here. But still, you have to search on the mountains, and all the preparations will come in handy. We should be happy that you don't have to explore the dangerous cave. So I guess everyone can go home now and wait for the news for you, then. I hope you will find your grandfather uh -huh. soon. We'll stay by your side until we find your grandpa. Just say the word when you're ready to summit the mountain. Correct. Off to the mountains, we'll follow you. Nathan, you can't just ignore my I told you so. I see Grandpa up there. Ooh, and mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Is that a house? <laughs> yeah, someone made some kind of shelter with a balloon. There, that looks like Walter! <laughs> Walter! <laughs> well, hello there. I certainly didn't expect any visitors today. Are you alright? You've been missing for days! <laughs> missing? But I know exactly where I am. Still, you look like a hermit who lived here for years. That beard! Oh, this thing grows like a weed, I tell ya. But what are you all doing here? Rescuing you! <laughs> Rescuing? That's very kind, but I'm doing quite well. No need for the rescue. Come, come. Let me make you some tea and we can catch up. <laughs> well, I think it's time we leave. I'm sure you and uh, her have a lot to discuss. 
I'm sure you're fine staying up here, Walter. Of course, go on and come back to visit. flowers first. Goldenrod. Not only are they beautifully golden, like bushes of sunlight, but they make excellent tooth medicine, too. <laughs> it's nice to have a two-legged companion again. I love my apaca friends, but they're not very talkative. <gasps> and you! My, my, how have you grown? Grandpa, I don't understand. Why don't you come back down the mountain? Come home. <laughs> Home? Well, this is my home, and I have my alpacas to care for. No, I mean the farm. I I sort of took it over. Mm. Ah, yes, yes, that's why I wrote you. I knew you had a great farmer in you. But you can come back now. We cleared the path down. Oh, back? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I don't understand. Why did you make the hot air balloon in the first place? <clears throat> hot air balloon? That sounds quite dangerous. Adventurous, even. More your grandmother style. But you built the balloon and you crashed that there and you made a home out of the wreckage huh well well no well how queer i can't remember mm. morty no thanks did you hit your head when you crashed <laughs> oh ho, ho, ho. my head is quite fine quite fine yes mm. but the rest of me well i'm not as young as i used to be i managed to take care of my alpacas but this place still needs a lot of work are you sure you shouldn't come back with me mm. no i can't leave this place is exactly where i need to be all right, all right. Well, maybe I can help with your new home? That would be grand. Yes, you've always been so helpful. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll tell you what uh, all about what needs to be done. But make sure you also take your time to enjoy this great scenery up here. <laughs> Welcome on my mountain peak. Okay, Grandpa, how can I help make this a proper home for you? As you can imagine, farming up on these mountains is quite different. The high altitude and lower temperatures makes it harder to grow crops, but it also means one can grow entirely new plants. So you haven't started far so you have started farming up here. I didn't have time for that yet. The alpacas needed a lot of care, and my back is no longer as strong as it used to be. Maybe I can help you out a bit? That would be great. Can you sow some seeds, please? Of course. What would you like me to sow? Bunching onions. They are well adapted to mountain conditions. Why don't you try planting and harvesting a few? You can grow the seeds right here on my farm box. Uh, how about the... Okay, Grandpa, how can I make... Let's see. I like to nurse the trees up here so they grow fruit again. That's a great idea. Which one do you want to start with? Hazelnuts. I've always liked them, and I know someone else who might be happy about it. Would you be so kind as to fertilize the hazelnut tree? That would help me a great deal. Uh, there's already a hazelnut sapling over there. It just needs a bit of extra care. Fertilize the hazelnut sapling. Got it. And once it's strong enough, come back to me again. Uh, four walls and a roof. Are you sure you're okay living here alone? Mm. Alone? I got all these apacas keeping me company. You know what I mean. Don't worry. This is my home now. Though the accommodations could use some work. Well, now that you mention it. Ha! I did the best I could with what I had. But maybe you could rally some help to improve it a bit? I could talk to Benny. He's always happy to lend a hand. Good boy he is. Maybe he can help you with, you know, a proper roof? Okay, I'll talk to Benny. I'll feel better knowing you don't have to sleep in a makeshift shelter. Me too. We need bunching. Oh, here we go. If you leave them long enough, they will give you beautiful flowers, which surprisingly smell very nice. Okay. 
needs eight onions. And what do we got here? Uh, fertilizer. Uh, very versatile spice, super in sweet and savory dishes, plus it keeps bad spirits away. It makes excellent tea. And that was ginger. Fertilizers are made up of micro, uh, macronutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and micronutrients such as iron, magnesium, and manganese. Hey, are you even listening? I need one more fertilizer. Oh. The hazelnut tree is now strong enough to grow fruit, Grandpa. Good, good. I see there is no farming task too much of a challenge for you anymore. But my guess is that you're also talented in cooking as well. Hmm? Uh, sure, I'm no Claire, but if you're hungry. Not for me. No, no. I was thinking you can help me prepare a little gift for Matilda. Uh, what a lovely idea. I used to supply her market, you see. I feel a bit bad for having left on such short notice. I hope you can, you've been providing her with goods in my place now. Uh, sure. I knew you would be up to the task. Well, about this gift, Matilda loves chocolate spread. If you could prepare that for her with the hazelnuts from this tree, I'd be much obliged. Chocolate spread made from hazelnuts? Sure, I'll try cooking that. Thanks. Take this recipe. It should be an easy one. I think the flowers look like little fairies dancing together in the air. Glory of the snow, if you want to know when spring has arrived, don't look at the calendar, look at the ground under your feet. Winter mushrooms, if you've ever bought these at the store, you never recognize them in the wild. It's all because of the sunlight. Uh, the slow is the first flowering shrub in the springtime, and there can hardly be a more beautiful harbinger, harbinger of the spring when... I'm so sorry. <laughs> there can be more of a beautiful harbinger of the spring than its white sea of flowers. Licorice root, a great uh, natural alternative to candy. In fact, unlike candy, licorice is healthy for your teeth.
big area up here. Ooh, I see a chest. Oh, you can go that way, but you can't go back. Interesting. I think it's safe enough for us to head back. Uh, I think we've explored. Why did I get the hand signal? Okay, I know that it's only for you guys one day of gameplay. For me, it's about five days of gameplay. We now know where Grandpa is, and I will continue on the next episode helping Grandpa make his place a home. Thank you for keeping me company.